And we're looking to finish off with more wins than losses here as we get our first look at WA. And it's a hot footy early as you'd expect, but it comes out now to Britain. As WA have been able to work it forward. And in trouble here is Davies. One of the players to really keep an eye on from a Queensland. From this fast start from WA, getting forward quickly and just some of their pressure on the ball carry. Not really allowed. As they clear Queensland, Fish. One of the absolute standouts for this WA side. Kick not really effective though in the end and WA escape with it. Could be dangerous here out on the wing. Up the line, good contest made by Blizzard. And goes to show you just some of the, the quality coming out of Queensland at the moment. Absolutely, Queensland very much at the foul. Putting on a clinic in the early going. Queensland to, to work into, they saw a couple of free plays just getting themselves forward. WA just need an all team kind of approach here, all hands at the deck if they really want to see off some of this forward move here from Queensland who really have their tails up and think they might have a free kick here as well again. Yeah, dangerous tackle it was in the end going against Lily Patterson. Uh, and been transitioning from end to end and then sometimes getting some footy. Norbury runs into trouble then runs out of trouble then didn't quite get the bounce she wanted. Forced to look corridor. McNaughton is shifty, does well here. Newson tries to one, unable to take it on her bootlaces in the end was hung. And a chance now for WA to get it moving forward again. Patterson, Newsom strong in the ruck that time. They're gonna chain it out, here's Fish. On the front foot, very much like they start in the first quarter. They'll register another inside 50 here. Ninth touch for Patterson. So happy birthday to her. And she was overrunning the footy. Patterson clean as always. Paul, she's looking to go forward and so she's just really getting her side up the park as every time, every chance she gets. This is a good response here from WA as they work it out. Patterson has been terrific. Strictly, of course, her size helps as well. Playing as a genuine midfielder despite being ruck side. Up the line we go. I think players from both sides might have lost that in the sun. Patterson working hard. Takes control, almost has it ripped away from her. Then able to find a teammate, but it's 11 to eight in favor of WA. So they've got that clearance to her name, head and shoulders above the rest so far today. She has been mighty impressive so far, Lily Patterson. Trying to burst through was McDonough, he Lappin. As WA does. This is the target, and Patterson is there to confront Parker before it's taken over the line. There is Hopkins, but Strickland didn't give up the fight. Patterson sweeps it over the top. Going to be a problem, to say the absolute least. Not just at this level, but in AFLW level. I uh, cannot wait to see what she is able to do going forward. Not a ton of 180-centimeter midfielders going around in AFLW. WA will escape, but not for long. Here's Ella. Almost dragged off her kick entirely. Putting her head over it was Morgan. And she'll get a free. Will Renee Morgan. Disposal. Patterson's up to 17 for WA. She's almost stolen the show in a lot of ways. Six of those touches coming at the clearances as well. Ten handballs, of course. So just a lot of in and under work at the coalface is putting in. Really, really a lot of the grunt work for her teammates. Unsel unselfish performances off from her today. The only member of this West Australian 23 out there today from Swan Districts is Lily Patterson. 18 years old, played 15 games in the Waffle W this season. Averaged over 24 touches a game and laid four tackles per contest as well. So she's coming off a fantastic season at the senior level. This fish able to feed a teammate. Kick to an out number. McNaughton went to ground. 
Still able to feed a handball to Patterson. And here she is. Gives it off to Greenwood. As WA looked to clear. Newson. Here is Patterson. Going to get another touch. Although she waited a long time to get rid of it. Did just enough in the end. Cruel bounce in the end. is stays in play for O'Hare. Patterson now with Fote. Way into the corridor. Under pressure, Salisbury. And WA win it back. Fish able to find her target in Blizzard. Patterson through traffic nicely. Britain able to take control of the footy. And that's a good ball. Playing on that last line of defence and cutting off everything. Just had execution has had them a little short here, but what can Queensland make this opportunity? They do need Norbury. He's been one of their best. Out wide for Patterson. Flicks it over the shoulder back to Norbury. And whistle. Wide for Chambers, who's run a long way to get this ball. No one comes up to the mark, so she can gain territory by foot before popping it over to Patterson. Again, no one on the mark. So she can go all the way to 50 and set it up for a targeting Keeley. Roving front and square beautifully. The kick in, not a great one. Patterson's going to retrieve this. Dishes it off to Morgan, who can load up from the restart. Patterson, quick hands, terrific to O'Hare, to Fish. His hands likewise lightning. Sexton out of defensive 50. Finds her teammate and they're away here. Into attack. And taking the mark is Fotu. A little bit of a messy kick towards full forward. Here's McNaughton. She's a goal sneak. And that's the first of the chance. Going. They want to... Get it going forward with a toe poke. And now they're inside 50. WA through Fish. Well-weighted kick into the path of Strickland, who takes possession, swings around. It'll be all about the bounce. And she gets a good one, then gets a poor one. And it stays in the field of play. But going to ground was Poppy Tyndall. And WA ends up with a goal. Chaos ball works in the end, and it's Blizzard. To top three. Patterson with 25, Fish with 24, and Britain for 22 from the WA perspective.